mods. They can stop you from accidentally dropping your most valuable items. They can make you able to see the full info of an item without changing your GUI. They can make you solve dungeon puzzles faster than you ever have before. And so much more. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods, how to set up the mods, and what all of the mods do. Without further ado, let's get right into it. How do you download the mods, you ask? Well, scroll down to the link in the description and press that link. Then you will be brought to something that looks like this. Now, right here, you can see download all. You want to click that and it will say preparing download and zipping one file. Now, just wait for that to download. While you're waiting, you want to head over to your new tab and look up forge. Then click on this link, scroll down until you see 1.8, then 1.8.9, and now, just like this, you want to download the recommended one, which you just want to click the installer. If you are on Windows, you want to press the installer, um, and then you just want to save that to your downloads. But if you are on Mac, you need the universal installer. When installing Forge, once you click either installer or universal, you will be brought to a redirect of an ad page. Just wait five seconds, and then in the top right, you will see skip. Don't click anything else on the page, but then you want to save that to your downloads. Once you have downloaded them, you want to go to File Explorer, and you should see Forge and Hihi's mod folder. I'm going to drag these to my desktop, and now what you want to do is open up the Forge installer. If when you click this, it doesn't open up, you want to search up Java, and then go to right here. Then you want to ignore all the ads, except the cookies, and Java download. Agree and start free download. You can save that to your downloads as well. But since I moved the other one to my desktop, I'm going to move this one to my desktop as well. Now you just want to open up Java and then click install. I already have it, so I don't need to do this. But after that is installed, open up Forge and you should see something that looks like this. It should say installed client and you click OK. Then it will say you have successfully installed client profile Forge blah 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 blah. Click OK and the next thing you want to do is extract. Mine looks a bit different, but you want to extract the Hihi's mod folder. Then when you open that up, you will see all of these mods. Then you want to go to your Windows search bar in the bottom left and type percent app data percent. Then you will be brought to here. You want to click dot Minecraft mods, and then you want to drag all of these mods into your mods folder. As you can see, I already have them all right here, so I don't need to, but all you have to do is highlight them and drag them over. Now, really quick, you might notice there's a lot of mods and you might not want all of them. So I'm gonna really quickly go over what every mod does. The first mod on the list is Bizarre Notifier. As you can see, if I go to the Bazaar, I have made a fire for 30 hot potato books. And as you just saw, it is now outdated. And just like that, it got revived. Basically, this mod tells you if someone undercut your bazaar, and it is definitely very helpful. The next mod is Cowlection. If I type slash moo config, then you can see this mod has a bunch of stuff, and I will explain some of that stuff right now. The main use for this mod, in my opinion, is when you are trying to go in Party Finder. You can customize it to whatever you like. So I have it so parties I can't join are red, parties I can join are green, parties that are marked carries 
or parties that have Archer in it, they all show all of that stuff, which is very helpful for joining a party. Another very useful feature is when someone joins your party, you can see all the gear that they have. This helps a lot if you want to kick someone. Also, you can just click here and it'll come up with a kick message. The next mod is Dungeon Rooms. Dungeon Rooms is the mod that highlights all of the secrets and has nice waypoints on them. Next mod, Dungeon Guide, makes a nice little line on the ground showing you how to get to the closest secret. This makes it so that you can get to the secrets a lot quicker and in the end makes your runs a lot more efficient. The next mod is NEU, or Not Enough Updates. This mod is uh, basically just a quality of life mod and has a bunch of features that will make your game a lot better. There's a bunch of things in this mod and I would definitely recommend. After that is Optifine. Everyone knows Optifine, it just makes your game run smoother and also gives you zoom. The next mod, Patcher. This is a must have mod. This mod makes your game run way smoother and fixes a bunch of things in 1.8.9, including changing the hitboxes of Netherwart to make it so that they are a big hitbox until you break them and then they are small. If you didn't know, in 1.8.9 this doesn't exist, so if you don't have Patcher, you farming Netherwart is very inefficient. The next one is scrollable tooltips. This one is the mod that makes you able to see things without having to change your GUI size. This is a must-have, in my opinion, as well. Simple Toggle Sprint is another must-have mod. Basically, it does what it says, makes it so that you can sprint without having to press your sprint button. Skyblock Add-ons is the oldest Skyblock mod there is and just has a bunch of quality of life features. While I was showing the tutorial, I had Skyblock Extras in the mods folder. In the actual mods folder that you see in the description, Skyblock Extras won't be in there because Skyblock Extras is a paid mod and won't work unless you pay five dollars though i would definitely recommend it because it is a very good mod and last but absolutely not least probably the best skyblock mod there is sky tills this mod has so many features pages and pages and pages and pages of features that will help you out and do so many things if you're only going to use one mod i would recommend that mod be sky tills now that you know what every mod is, you can decide which mods you want to use. And now it is time to launch your game. To launch your game, all you have to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, click installations, new installation. You can name this to whatever you want. Then in version, you want to scroll all the way down until you find 1.8.9 Forge. Mine's at the bottom, but yours might be at the top. 1.8.9 Forge. Then before you create, you need to go to more options and allocate four gigabytes of RAM. Even if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, like me, I would recommend only allocating four because any more can actually be bad. Anyways, once you've allocated four gigabytes of RAM, create, and then all you have to do is play. Now it's time for the worst part about installing mods. You have to customize the mods. Things like sky tills will take a very long time to scroll through all the mods and figure out what you want and what you don't want, but once you have configured all your mods, you will never have to do it again. Now, really quick before I end the video, I should probably show you how to access all the mods. So for Bazaar Tracker, the second you open Bazaar, it will be there. For Collection, you type slash move config. Dungeon Rooms is automatically installed. And if you go to controls, you have three buttons here, but these don't do anything, so I'd recommend having them unbound. For dungeon guide, it is slash DG. Not enough updates. You can open your inventory and press this little button, or you can type slash NEU. Optifine is automatically installed. Patcher is slash Patcher. Scrollable tooltips are already installed. Simple toggle sprint is slash simple toggle sprint. Skyblock add-ons, you just press escape and it is right here, or you type slash SBA. Last but definitely not least is Skytills, either in your pause menu or slash Skytills. And that will wrap up the video. If you have any problems, 
either leave a comment or go to the description down below and join my Discord server. You can ping me at any time and I will help you with whatever problem you have. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Adios.